What's going on everybody? The interesting hero. Welcome back to my channel and oh baby it's cold outside and today we're jumping into Bloons Battles TD and we are going to play in the North Pole Arena. I actually just opened up my phone and I saw this. This is the first time I'm playing North Pole Arena and I have no idea what to expect but I'm really excited. The five medal entry price and uh, um, yeah going against Batman 2269 with 999 medals and that is pretty intimidating I'm not gonna lie I only have 14 medals but it's also because I always spend my medals on upgrading the towers that I can upgrade so let's see Ooh, this map looks pretty awesome first of all it's wintry and there are little candy canes in the middle and it looks pretty awesome all right let's start with engineers so I guess this isn't the map where you start with the opponent and you get three exact same towers and then it just comes down to you know how you strategize so it looks like we have different towers and I am gonna go ahead and start upgrading my engineer first and then I'm gonna get to upgrading my um, Buccaneer, I really need the Grape Shooter. Grape Shooter is one of my favorites. And I think what I'm gonna do is, if you noticed, I left a little bit of room and I'm starting to rush my opponent already from the beginning and I think so is he, uh, which is totally fine. Just making sure we're both staying on top of it. But I left a little bit of room at the little pond, at the frozen pond, because I think I'm gonna end up putting another Buccaneer Tower there. Of course, that is if that's necessary and if the game even gets there. But um, I, I, I like playing with two Buccaneer Towers and upgrading them in two different paths. Um, and I think this is my strategy here too. Oh my gosh, look at that. My strategy is working. He's starting to let balloons through. 133, 130, that's awesome. Okay. Um, so what, what what was I saying? Okay, so first the Grape Shooter and then of course I will upgrade Blumber Cannon and the first upgrade that I will do, the full maxed out upgrade on the uh, Buccaneer is of course the um, the Submarine uh, Destroyer because that is one of my favorite upgrades and then of course I will just work on upgrading whatever needs to be done because I don't... Yeah, I just I'm just gonna see how this is gonna go but of course Apprentice I need to get that lightning spell and um, I really, uh, so, uh, my apprentice is fully maxed out in terms of upgrades, but I've never gotten it to the maxed out uh, summon the phoenix yet because it is so, so expensive. So I'm kind of hoping that during this game, I will be able to max it out to the fire of phoenix because it's just, it looks amazing. Oftentimes when I play against someone and they um, max out that upgrade path, I'm always so jealous and I'm like, how are you doing this? It's so expensive. All right, but it's time to get serious and try to test my opponent a little bit more at a time and see what he's struggling with. He's only got two towers so far, which is pretty awesome because he's only left through 20 balloons and with only two towers. I already have three towers and of course my engineers have the um, sentry gun and the fast engineering on one of them so I don't know maybe he is just saving up the money because he's gonna rush me and that's why he's not building up more towers not really sure but we will end up finding out and let's send some leads leads are my favorite and I don't think right now he's equipped to get through leads look at that his Ninja monkeys uh, are not going to be able to get the lead through and he saves the day last second by placing the apprentice tower. That was really great thinking on his feet, but I for a second thought that he was for sure going to let them through. But it's okay, because he only has one apprentice tower and he's got the lightning spell of course. But I'll just, I'll just work with various combinations of balloons with um, leads kind of, you know, snick, snuck inside. So we'll see, we'll see whether or not my lead strategy is gonna bring this guy down. All right, let's get the upgrade path on the cannon. And round 15. Things are gonna start getting a little bit faster now. So I, I don't know why he's only got three towers. Now, okay, he just placed another tower. That That is starting to make more sense. Once again, the leads are getting close to the apprentice, and then apprentice, of course, uh, gets through them super, super easy. Now let's send some 
rainbows just because I feel like it because rainbows are sunny okay now I have my foam and the apprentice of course can pick up the uh, camos and regions so we're in a-ok -okay shape look at that foam forming everything is so snowy on this map the foam actually looks like I don't know like little chunks of snow little snow mountains I, I really love it this map is so adorable and look at that it looks like there is like a left um, kind of a corner of a Christmas tree on the side of the map okay I have a bunch of money and you know what that means I have 2200 which means I can now upgrade my buccaneer to a destroyer okay he's starting to rush me big time let's send him a Moab and see how he'll deal with that okay Moab is making an appearance and Moab is getting followed up by a ton of leads and looks like he is gonna have to okay so he boosted look at that that wasn't so bad he was able to get that through all right so I need to keep sending him Moabs maybe multiples at a time all right let's get our destroyer path all right so he's getting balloons are coming my way all leads but that's okay I got me the apprentice who will take care of that and look at that Look at that destroyer buccaneer tower. It is absolutely crushing balloons. They are just getting crushed from the very, very beginning. I absolutely love, love that upgrade. One of my favorite towers of all times, hands down. Okay, so my opponent now has gotten a few ninjas and... Okay, he's got three ninjas in the bottom, two ninjas on top and apprentice up in the corner. Now, I probably could do a few clays and then pinks and moabs and, of course, some leads and see how that'll go. Because pinks are really fast. The, the leads need to have a few, um, a few takes so that the path opens up from the lead to regular balloon. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Oh my gosh! No, I'm starting to let balloons through while I'm while I'm conspiring on how to go on how to tank my opponent. I let through a ton of balloons. Look at that. I went from 150 to 99. Unacceptable. I need to pick this up. I think I definitely. Yeah. Sometimes I concentrate on one thing and I totally forget about the other. Which today this was the prime example, you guys. All right. Let's put another apprentice and max him out. Okay. Lightning spell. And monkey sense and now let's work on getting our eco back up so we can rush our opponent wow he maxed out two of his monkeys right right there okay so look at that his monkeys are doing amazing no balloons even get into the middle of it everything gets cleared up like right before they even enter the arena that's pretty sweet all right bunch of leads are coming my way but that's not gonna be a problem all right, clays. That's also not going to be a problem. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have to boost, but maybe, maybe I should. Mm, no, I don't think I'm going to waste the boost on this one. Totally, totally fine. Okay, okay, okay. I got to come up with a plan, you guys. Round twenty-four, and I need to tank my opponent. Oh no! I hate when I get disconnected. Come on, you guys. Come on, come back online. Just come back online already. Oh, this is so scary because right now I could be letting through so many balloons because I'm disconnected and I wouldn't even know. Ah, oh, so nerve-wracking. Come back online already. Okay, it looks like we're back online. Ooh, he just got a super monkey. That is serious game there, you guys. Super monkey is amazing. I've only played with the super monkey tower a few times. And it is really, really awesome, super expensive to even get in the first place and so expensive if you want to start upgrading the path, but it is definitely worth it. I um, I think I started playing with the Super Monkey Tower when I was visiting Boot Ramp and his girlfriend in Norway because they are big fans, huge fans of Superman Monkey. And I saw them play it and I was like, whoa, this thing is amazing. So I kind of got into it a bit more, but 
Okay, now let's start rushing. Wow, okay, look at that. The map looks like a little candy land. Everything is so colorful. Look at that Superman monkey just shooting up the fire or whatever he call it from his eyes. It looks absolutely evil and let's follow up with a few more balloons so that the attention of the monkeys get away from the giant Moab and oh you guys Superman monkey is starting to work on it but more Moabs are coming through and I'm doing with Moabs just fine. <gasps> Batman 20 to 69 you are a great game. Thank you. Thank you for this. This was awesome. I just won five more medallions because when you guys go into the North Pole, you bat five medallions and you win five. And then you can, I guess, opponent declined rematches don't count towards your weekly competition totals. Okay, so you can rematch your, your competition. That is pretty awesome. Well, obviously he didn't want to rematch because it just crushed him. But let's go ahead and jump into another... Uh, another one of these new towers available. Let's take a quick peek. I don't know that there aren't any new towers available. I can just upgrade. Oh, it says Boomerang is new, but I don't think Boomerang Monkey is new. Maybe it's got like new abilities or something. Bionic Boomer, Glaive, Ricochet. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a new tower. Um, I don't know why it says new on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back in and do another one since i'm feeling lucky i just got my first victory down under the belt and let's go in all right so you can watch a video for a re-entry um or you can just pay five medallions to enter the north Pole arena which is really awesome i feel like uh, lots of times in blooms you have to pay to enter certain rooms which you know deters lots of people and this is a really great holiday um, holiday enter if you want to watch a free video thing I think it's really cool if you guys don't feel like spending money just watch a free video watch a video and you get a free entrance let's just make sure that I'm connected to Wi-Fi because um, I don't know sometimes it just doesn't do so well when I'm just on my network all right so let's go ahead and now we are jumping into a game where my opponent and I get exact same towers um, so as you can see, we all get three random towers. Bloons can be sent one round quicker and move faster, and we get faster income from it. So let's start off with an engineer and an apprentice. And as you can see, you didn't have to wait until round two to start sending bloons. So I'm going to start sending some bloons, you guys. I'm going to get aggressive from the very beginning. I don't know if it's fair or not because he only has one tower, but hey, he's got money. He can put another tower there. And he's got spikes right by the exit, by the exit from the map. So he's doing a-okay, but he's definitely spending some spikes. And look at the pinks. Pinks are so, so fast and they are starting to escape and I don't even feel bad about it. I know I should probably wait until late game, but why not hit him where it hurts from the beginning so I can, you know, get a few blooms through and then stop rushing him and get into a late game. I don't know, will it be my 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 strategy today? Will it not? Okay, I'm myself, I myself am starting to let through some blooms. Okay, so he's at 87, I'm at 148. I should probably slow down, otherwise it's gonna be like a 30 second game and nobody wants to watch a 30 second game, so. All right, so he now placed an engineer on his map together with an apprentice and he's got the lightning spell for his apprentice. He definitely needs to put something closer to the bottom because that's where he's struggling when the balloons are escaping. And I don't think he's actually paying that close of an attention there. So he's already at 66 and I'm at 148. Definitely have a huge advantage here and I'm gonna place a few spikes over there. And of course, let's get faster engineering on the next guy so my engineers can start pumping out those sentry guns. All right, let's see if he is ready for some uh, for some leads. You know, leads are my favorites. I have gotten rushed with leads so many times in the past, uh, quite a few times with my good friends because they were completely ruthless and they're like, all right, well, let's see if she's ready for leads. And I wasn't and they didn't care. So, um, all right, let's put this cannon here and as you can see you guys once again we have exactly same uh, we have exact same towers and it's just all about how we choose to place them on the map and of course uh, I think I started a little bit more aggressively in the beginning with placing towers and as well as sending him balloons which you know in general when you go into assault mode I guess is expected when you go into assault mode you get you know you get you get aggressive from the beginning and you know 
surely I'm not taking this into a late game because he's already got 63, but that's okay. Ooh, okay, so look at that. He summoned the uh, dragon breath on his uh, apprentice, which is awesome. I love the fire fire upgrades on the apprentice. Those are one of my favorite paths. And just I was saying a few seconds ago, I cannot wait to summon the phoenix because I haven't been able to do that just yet and I really want to. Maybe I'll just dedicate one game exclusively just to summon the phoenix because that would be pretty pretty cool. So, all right, look at that cannon there. It is sending out fracking bombs and it looks, this cannon on my path, on my map is maxed out so it can get through moabs it's like a moab crusher really really helpful for when you do in a late game and people are trying to rush you with moabs so definitely a pretty solid tower i usually don't pick it but when i do get it randomly selected i i realize that it's a pretty solid tower all right moab coming his way baby look at that and this will be the end of my opponent you guys he led through the entire moab I didn't make it a late game, this was definitely an early assault mode and I hope you enjoyed this video you guys. If you want to play balloons with me, send me a request on Facebook and I'd love to play with you. Until then, interesting is out. Happy holidays!